guys got our first wide load, man. So, uh, kind of excited about it. I'll tell you more about it in a little bit. But that's a big old 10 foot round tank. Got flags on back, front and back. But, uh, yeah, going down to Pensacola, Florida, down to the port. So, uh, I guess they're going to ship her across the big pond. But anyway, we'll get back with you shortly. Later. I'll give you a little update on today's situation with squirrel. <laughs> um, last week I picked up those two water tanks <clears throat> up in um, PA and uh, brought them home Thursday. Had a little hiccup up there so I didn't get that one off Thursday. Uh, so I delivered it Friday morning. Um, So I sat on the other one until this morning um, and left out at 11.30 last night uh, to ride down to Troy, Alabama and drop it off. Got there at 7 a.m. this morning. Got to beat that Atlanta traffic. Got to beat that Atlanta traffic. Uh, so dropped it off at 7.30 this morning. Guys, they helped me... Uh, shout out to those guys man they helped me uh, take the bungees off unstrap it roll my tarps and everything I was there like 15 minutes um, so that's after my guard searched my truck under the hood under the truck gave me an enema um, I think he measured my chest size I'm not sure I just know there's a lot of touching going on but anyway um, high security high security high security just kidding but um, so I was in out there pretty quick so as soon as I left there up to Tallapoosa to pick up the uh, the uh, plastic tank that's going to um, Pensacola to a fish hatchery um, drove 690 miles a day I'm one tired squirrel but uh, yeah, I had like 15 minutes of drive time left when I got up here to pick up that, that tank. Uh, so we got it loaded up uh, when it logged off duty, did my post trip. Um, and then I come down here, uh, personal conveyance to this truck stop, it's like six miles away. But back up till Friday when I booked the load, uh, I had to get my uh, trip permits. So I called and it was late. It was late when I, I booked the load. It was late when I got the trip permit. So I got Georgia taken care of and um, paid for it and got the permit emailed to me. I called Alabama, paid for it, no permit. So I was like, all right, well, I'll get it Monday. Um, and I'll take care of Florida Monday also. So this morning, I call Alabama, and they're like, hello, um, we're closed today. I was like, damn. So I gotta wait till in the morning to get with them. Uh, I did get Florida taken care of, paid for, got it in my hand. Uh, I called Reliable uh, Permit Solutions, uh, spoke to Laura to see if they could help me out go ahead and get me one. Uh, it's gonna be like 55 bucks. Uh, but that would work for me so I could leave 30 minutes before sun up, get down there and get it off loaded. I could be booking a load this afternoon, you know. No. Can't do it. Um, she said she couldn't help. So I gotta wait two in the morning. But that's where we're at right now. Um, just a sitting duck, quack, quack. At, um, at the truck stop here. So it'll be nine o'clock my time in Georgia when it's eight o'clock Alabama time, roll tide, uh, before I can get hold of them, um, get that squared away. I did talk to the receiver. He said if I couldn't make it there by 3.30 tomorrow, then to bring it Wednesday. Well, that kills a day because I got a wide load on here. It's not like I can run around any local stuff. So, um, if I can't get it squared away early enough tomorrow morning where I can get down there by 
which I know it says five hour drive time, you might as well add an hour to it, but Squirrel's been known to um, stay in the hammer lane, drop her in the big hole and let her eat. A few miles don't matter to me uh, sometimes. So uh, I could just Trexler outlaw it and take my chances, but tomorrow's the first day of the blitz. So not really looking for any trouble. Trying to keep my score clean, um, CSA score clean. So uh, we'll just call them in the morning and we'll do everything right. If it takes another day, it takes another day. Um, and then we'll go from there. So, But anyway, that is Squirrel's update on where he's at now with his first wide load. Um, but I like to learn things. That's the reason I, I called the stakes myself, set up the little porthole and made an account and all that stuff because I like to learn. I like to know how to do things. That doesn't mean that I won't outsource them later if it takes up too much of my time to pay a little extra money to have it done. It just it depends. Um, if I had more time, it wouldn't be a big deal. In a situation like this where I'm booking it on Friday and uh, loading out on Monday, uh, yeah, reliable permits is probably going to be the way to go. Um, if I got a couple days, it's not a big deal. So, but um, but anyway, that's today's episode. I have no riding footage. I can give you some footage of these trees right here in a song, but I'm not going to bore you with that. So this video is going to be short. It's going to be sweet. So like, subscribe, laugh, whatever you want to do. But uh, have a good evening and. Uh, We'll update you on the next video. See ya.